Yeah, hi everyone. Welcome to another week at Emsley Lodge. Um, had a couple of runners through the week, a couple of placings. Uh, Severn Road ran third in the Pakenham Cup, which was a great result again. He's been so honest. Uh, he'll go now to the Colac Cup, which has been transferred to the Camperdown uh, next weekend. And once again, you know you know how he races. He always tries hard and he'll, um, he'll be pretty competitive. Um, this week on the racetrack, we've got uh, the big boy Froffy stepping out and having his first start. Uh, pretty keen on him. Um, he's uh, shown us a ton of abilities already to go to the races. Unfortunately, he's probably going to run into a really smart one, one of uh, Peter Moody's that'll probably go around very short odds on. But um, if uh, if it's not up to the game, well, he'll give it a big fright. But uh, really keen on him seeing how he goes first up. Um, we've probably beat the heat a little bit this week. We've taken a couple of horses over to Lara and uh, taken them over to the equine centre and um, uh, the, uh, we'll show a bit of footage later on on uh, what happens over there but um, it's a facility that we're really happy that we're allowed to use and um, we'll obviously continue to use it in the future. Yeah, here's Froffy. Uh, you can see he's in gripping condition. He's all ready to go to the races. Um, he's, uh, ironically, his brother is having his first start at Tarang as well, a horse called Crusoe. So um, pretty unusual that two boys are having their first start on the same day. So uh, keep an eye on him. I think it's about race four or five or something. Um, but uh, yeah, look, we expect him to go really well. There's right. a really short price favourite. It'll go around the race and um, it'll take a ton of beating. But um, uh, it's all about getting him to the races. I don't think we need to trial him anymore. He can go to the races and hopefully he's pretty competitive. Yeah, we're over here today at the at Lara at the um, Avalon Equine Centre. Um, it's a stinking hot day here again today, but we're very lucky that we've got this facility that we can use. Um, horses, uh, they come over here and they go in the pool for about 20 minutes and uh, it's a real measure of fitness for, for the horses as well. Um, the horses that are race fit tend to be able to cope with this sort of hard work. Uh, the idea of it is that um, they can still do plenty of work, it's quite cool and very cool on their legs as well, um, but they're pushing into the water and it's quite uh, a really strong resistance work. Um, Sartorius, he really struggles with the heat and you can see here he just thrives on it, he loves being over here, he uh, very gets very keen in the pool and uh, he has no worries at all um, working here. Here's a ripping little colt called Tejano's Tail. He's, he only had the, the one run last time in as a two year old and that was in the Magic Millions at uh, Reverse Way going race at Ballarat. Um, he wasn't very competitive there but he was quite shin sore and had enough. He's had a three month spell now and he's come back in in ripping condition so uh, he's, uh, he'll go to, you know, he, I'd say he'll come to hand pretty quickly and um, get up and going but um, uh, yeah, nice little colt, um, sound little bloke and he thinks he's pretty good. Yeah, here's a nice horse called uh, Conciello. He's a nice three-year-old. He showed us plenty last time in. He's been very immature and we've given him plenty of time and now it's time to put him under a bit of pressure. Um, from what he showed us last time, he's certainly going to make the grade and uh, pretty keen to sort of see how he goes in the next month or so and get him to the races in about six or eight weeks. Hi everyone, uh, yeah I've got a few good rides this weekend, um, tonight I'll go to Mooney Valley and I've also got another ride at Pakenham today, but uh, I'll ride at Tarang on Saturday and then I'll ride uh, on Sunday at uh, Geelong and also on Monday at uh, Kyneton, I've only just got the one ride over there, but I reckon my best ride for this week would have to be this Saturday at uh, Tarang, I've got King Zero, he's going very well and um, he's racing back in his own company and he should go well. That's it for another week at Emsley Lodge. Um, cool week this week, should really suit Sartorius. He'll step out in the futurity next week, which will start him off on his preparation and uh, probably fi finish in the uh, BMW in Sydney. Um, he felt the heat of a bit last week, so um, it's lovely and cool this week. So uh, really keen to sort of step him out next week. Probably have a couple of runners at the uh, Camperdown meeting, which is the Colac Cup uh, next weekend, and um, a couple of the other horses will be trialling up through the week. So starting to really crank up for the, uh, for the autumn and a pretty exciting time for the stable, and we'll see you next week.